to some of those uh, top pilots who join us. And uh, I don't even need to introduce them anymore. They've become household names, but Group Captain uh, uh, Vinod is here with us, uh, Group Captain. This is a very, very serious, very, very serious matter, isn't it? Because many people have suggested that you could trigger and catastrophic, dadri-like crash between two planes and then use it to blame the government and the authorities and create all sorts of, I mean, all sorts of chaos in the country. It's, while it is theoretically possible, uh, Rahul, uh, let me demystify so that our viewers aren't A, alarmed, B, understand how the technology works. Now, let, let me try, uh, straight away dive into um, the loose word that we keep using as GPS. GPS is the is a word like Xerox. Hmm. Actually, a photocopier is, one of the photocopier is Xerox. So GPS is the American system called the GNSS, which you used, uh, Global Navigation Satellite System. GPS is one of them. Bedu is another. Um, GLONASS is Russian. We also have our own homegrown, which is like the regional system called the NAVIC. And we have something called a space-based augmentation system, which looks at all the other systems and gives you an error signal, error correction signal, called the SBAS, the Space Mace Augmented System, Augmentation System, which in our case is Gagan. Also, in Airbus, I know for sure, we have something called an ABAS, an aircraft-based uh, augmentation system. Now, people need to understand what is GNSS? All these satellites put, to, put together, it gives you your positional accuracy or it gives you your positional information. Now this position, why do you need this positional information from satellite? Because it is more accurate. About a decade or decade and a half or two decades ago, Rahul, we used something called an INS, inertial navigation system. Yeah. Now inertial navigation system suffered an error over time, as in you may start off with a zero error, one hour, two hour down the road, it was a cumulative error unless you updated. You know, lo and behold, here comes the uh, global navigation system, which realigns your INS. So your INS is back to error zero. And it is doing every now and then. You correctly brought out uh, aeroplanes which are dependent on the GNSS for approach and landing. We call it the RNP approach, required uh, navigation performance approach, in which we solely use the the uh, satellite-based system. Hmm. In some, uh, we depart on a satellite-based system. We arrive and capture the instrument landing system on a satellite-based system. You understanding what I'm saying? Whereas, an aeroplane which has an ABAS, I'll give you an example a couple of days ago. An ABAS, what it does is, it, the, uh, it does three things, uh, Rahul. One, it always checks on itself, called the RAIN, receiver, uh, you know, autonomous integrity monitoring. Hmm. Secondly, the INS system and this GPS system are correlated with each other. And when the correlation uh, goes off track, it tells you GPS okay. primary okay. lost. So, so. And the third and the most, uh, Rahul, I quickly finish. Hmm. The third and the most important thing is at all times it keeps me measuring each other's accuracy. Hmm. So as far as the Airbus is concerned, there is no problem. Yeah, why is uh, the two things we need to understand? Jamming, spoofing. Jamming, you jam the signal. Spoof, you spoof, fool the signal. The latter is more dangerous.